energy babies and welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit the red subscribe button join the brookie baby gang because the brookie babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too so as you guys can see from that title from that thumbnail girl the time has finally come we are about to decorate this house for christmas and then you all are going to see the final reveal at the end of the video now as i go out through the video decorating i will try to tell you where some of the items are from i will also link my christmas decor haul video in the description box as well in case there's something that i did not mention here that you want to go check out there to add to your home decor or to save for next year but y'all i'm super excited i love how everything turned out it is so pretty it is giving organic modern my vision came to life the diy ornaments are so beautiful if you want to see how i made those i'll link the very first vlogmas vlog as well but not gonna hold y'all too long not gonna ramble i'm just excited i can't wait for you guys to see it let me know in the comment sections what you think and i will see you guys at the end of the video let's get it all right ricky baby so let's go ahead and get straight into it first thing first i am sorry if i sound super stuffy your girl is slightly under the weather but let's get into decorating so this year i knew for sure i wanted to put garland over this arch mirror y'all know this is one of my favorite pieces in my home just coming down the staircase every day just looking at myself every day it's just one of my favorite pieces so i had questions about how i did this what you need to do is get you some nails and maybe some commands the commands did not work for us we still kept them up there, but we use the nails to secure the garland and keep it in place. Once it's in place, you just want to go around and fluff the top. And the piece that we're going to hang on the side right here, this one is super easy because this particular garland comes with like a little loop at the ends. So we just put the nail, put the loop on there, and then I just continue to fluff it. Now in a minute, you're going to see me add in some um gold bells to the mirror and some velvet ribbon i forgot to film that all the way i'm sorry but you'll see it at the final reveal this is also another space um that i decorated as well i added in these little bushes on top of my picture lights and i added some black velvet ribbon also y'all when i tell you this looks amazing just wait to the end of the video because it eats okay it eats okay so now starting with the tree which takes the longest for me the biggest object in the home part of holiday decorating i love ribbon so i decided this year to go in with ribbon now i had a lot of you sending me over different combinations different ideas and i'm gonna save them um but i went with this one because i did this one last year as well and i just love it i just love how it looks it's just many pieces of ribbon here and there um, if you want to do this method I would say cut your ribbon at about a foot or maybe 8 to 10 inches because you need it long enough to kind of stick in on both sides so that it can stay in place um, and yeah it's just great it's a great way to fill in spaces on your tree throughout your ornament so after the ribbons are on there I'm going in with these ornaments y'all I absolutely love these these brown marble I made those myself so if you're new here check out one of my vlogmas vlogs I think the very first one I show how I make those and then I went in with those Amazon velvet um, ornaments as well I love those and I just kept filling in the tree you guys just different combinations of colors and placing them in a good variation where they don't look like they're right next to each other and it does take time so you got to pick a day where you're just sitting around chilling and this was a sunday and yeah i just took my time and then i went in with some tree inserts y'all i absolutely love these bells i'm obsessed and i'm so mad at myself for not getting more than what i did i picked those up from hobby lobby and y'all know tree inserts are also a good way to fill up space on your christmas tree now a lot of you sent me ideas of clusters as well i think i'm gonna try that next year i think i am i really really love how that look but honestly y'all i had so much going on i just did not have the time it was either do-it-yourself ornaments or it was the clusters and i went with 
the ornaments and doing them myself because I could not find the color that I wanted. So I'd rather have the look that I really wanted versus clusters, which is a different look. It's unique and it's cute, but I had to weigh my options. Okay, y'all, so let's get into my favorite part to decorate around Christmas time. I don't know what it is about a mantle. Maybe it's the fireplace. Maybe it's just how it looks on the wood. And I don't know. I think it's once everything is decorated and you just sit down on your couch and you're watching Christmas movies. It's just so pretty because it's a focal point. And growing up, I just love to watch my mom decorate for Christmas. That has always been her favorite holiday. She always go in with the Christmas decor and it's just so crazy now to sit back and watch me doing the same thing and loving the same things. It's just like, it's bittersweet because sometimes I'm like, yeah, I enjoy doing this, but man, time does fly. Like I miss sitting in the living room in high school, middle school, watching my mom decorate, sitting there talking to her, doing the ornaments on the Christmas tree. It's just so crazy. Like, life moves by so fast. So what I'm trying to say here, y'all, because me explaining what I'm doing is self-explanatory, just enjoy life and enjoy the moment that you're in right now because as you guys see, we're decorating right now. Before we know it, we'll be screaming Happy New Year. So, whew, that's crazy. But anyways, back to what I'm doing. Um, I just put that Studio McGee garland on top of the old garland that I had from last year because that one has lights in it. And then I knew this year I had saved this look from last year. I knew I wanted to hang my stockings all together either on the left or the right side. For one, it helps keep your stockings from moving around. And two, I just really, really love the look. And then I knew I just wanted to add a little bit of spice to it. And I said, let me go ahead and add in some black velvet ribbon because it would tie in all of the black furniture and give it just a little accent color along with the brown. So I really love that look. Let me know, are you a stockings hanger to the left, to the right, all together? Or do you like them in the middle spaced out? Let's get active. Let me know what your styling ideas are in the comment section. Okay, so I know what your mind is thinking and y'all already know how your girl is. If I could have threw away this footage and started over, I would have. The fact that this camera is so daggone crooked. Why it look like my living room going down a hill? Why? Look at my couch. Look at, look at the left side. <sighs> Anyways, on to decorating this coffee table because ugh, if I focus on that, I'm gonna get aggravated all over again. So I decided to add in these branches from Hobby Lobby. Let me tell you this, they drove me crazy, but I made it work. I don't like them in a clear vase, but once you see everything all together, I feel like it's okay, it will do. But yeah, on from there, I started decorating the coffee table, just playing around with different pieces, um, setting the trees in different combinations, maybe one or two putting the deer candle holder there, then moving that, putting this deer there, then moving that. This takes time. So I like to show like a very more realistic type of decorate with me because prior we have done it and it looks like we're nailing it on the first try. Behind closed doors, at least for me, that is not how it works. Like it's a lot of brainstorming. It's a lot of moving things around. It's a lot of put that here. Okay, take that away. Try this book, try this tree, try this deer. Even when you're decorating on a regular, like, or just on a normal day, not for a holiday, just doing a bedroom transformation, there's always going to be places here and place that there. So take your time, don't stress it, and know that it will all come together. Okay, y'all, so my apologies because I know it seems like I'm super, super close in this clip and you can't really see what I'm doing, but 
I don't know, well, I know why, because I was at home, I'm chilling, ain't nobody here, but it didn't click in my mind that girl, your butt is in these folks' face, okay? So I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's why we so close, cause I tried to have it where you can see what I'm doing a little bit, but you don't need to see what I got back there either. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm working on the entryway table, y'all. If y'all could hear what my mama said when I FaceTimed her and she saw these red eucalyptus stems in his vase, she said, what are you trying to do? You trying to mix fall with uh, winter? I said, girl, I thought it looked good because it was red. She said, uh-uh, I don't like it. It look all right. And now when I'm looking at it on camera, yeah, yeah my mama, mm-mm. When I tell y'all, I don't know what I would do without my mama. I'm serious. I'm serious. So, yeah, I had to remove those. Y'all won't see it in the transformation part, but y'all will see it in the reveal. And then I just added in these beautiful trees from my Texas house um, from Walmart. I removed Bucky. Stay tuned to see what we do with him at the end as well. And then on to this arrangement. Um, so, I was filling up this vase to take it to the entryway table. But then I didn't like the black vase that I took from the entryway table and put on the island. You see the black vase behind this gray one? Yeah, I, I don't know what it was about that black vase on top of that wood next to the black velvet bar stools. It just was not working for me. So then I remember that I bought a new vase a couple weeks ago or about a month ago that was up in my bedroom. So the vase that I'm filling up right here with these stems from Hobby Lobby is on the island, um, on the kitchen island. And the vase that's new from Hobby Lobby is filled the exact same way and it's on the entryway table. So you will see that as well. And then I forgot to film me filling in the vases with these LED light stems from Target. They're $3 and they make your arrangement look beautiful. So you'll see that in the reveal as well. And then I went on into decorating the kitchen table. I just added in, so I re removed the pumpkins from this little arrangement, the tray. I added in another one of my dear candle holders, added my pillar candles, and then just added a couple ornaments to give it a little, you know, a little some something, something, spice it up. Mm hmm. And as you can see here on the tray, I always try to keep it so simple. Maybe add in one little holiday piece and then my candle holder and that's pretty much it. And um, if you're new here and you've made it to this point, girl, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Join my Brookie Baby gang, okay? Do that, do that for me now. But um, let me just say this, y'all. This was so much work. I'm going to make sure that I write the president and tell him that my husband cannot be gone. He cannot be gone again anytime during Christmas where women are decorating their houses. Um, this one woman in particular, his wife, Brooke Kennedy. Yeah, baby, let me tell you something. When I say your girl was tired, y'all might not can tell on this camera, but this was a lot to do by myself, but I got it done. Hence why we kind of dropping this video so late. I'm sorry. But hopefully y'all feel like it's worth the wait. But like I said, this one right here or this task right here is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going in decorating the Christmas tree. And again, y'all, I am obsessed with those bills. Those right there are from Target. The other ones were from Hobby Lobby. They are sold out everywhere. But if you can get your hands on them, get your hands on them. Put them up and save them for next year. All right, day two or day three, four, maybe five are decorating. We have made it to the staircase rail. Pretty simple and slightly easy. So at first I wrapped the old garland, which is more, when I'm saying old garland, y'all, I'm calling this one more traditional. There's nothing wrong with it now. It's just the original garland. And then I went in with that Studio McGee again, and I kind of placed it on top. I laid um, one garland, to the right side a little bit and leaned it over and then on the left side or in the inside of the staircase rail 
and I leaned it over just a little bit. I used um, zip ties to secure it. And then I went in and tucked those long little uh, strings or long ends of the zip tie. I went in and tucked those in and then just fluffed. And look at how pretty. Okay, y'all, so then I was like, you know what? I don't wanna do too much to my garland. I don't wanna add ribbon. I don't wanna do anything. So I was like, let me just add just a little bit, something that ties in with everything else. And I said, you know what? Let's add some ribbon. And these two bells that I had, I was gonna add them to the fireplace mantle, but I decided not to do that. And I said I wanted to add it to the staircase and I actually love that look. I couldn't go with bigger bells, y'all, because if you know my setup, my couch is a little close to my staircase and I ain't want wide load to constantly be walking through there and knocking it. So, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And then next we're going to get into the kitchen. Y'all, we're getting close to the end, so bear with me. Um, I decided to just do something simple right here. Um, I added in these bushes from... Hobby Lobby and at first I was thinking you know what they're not giving so much Christmas and I said let me add in some of those tree inserts and then boom it looks so good I love it so just keep that in mind and then the last space that we're going to decorate is this half bathroom this is the guest bathroom downstairs I said you know what you have some extra decor pieces from last year so let's just add in these beautiful velvet trees that are from Hobby Lobby I added in a cute little reindeer and then I added in this candle that smells amazing so this is also one of my favorite spaces as well but sit back get ready and I hope you guys enjoy the reveal let's get it All right, y'all, so this is the entryway table. I had to show you again. This right here is probably my favorite spot. When I say I love how this looks, it just, ah, my vision just came to life, y'all. I love it, I love it, I love it. I had to play around with that vase. Y'all know, y'all know. I was about to go red, but I'm glad I did it. Just had to be patient. But y'all, I really just wanted to touch on these LED lights. These are so beautiful. Please run to Target and try to get you some. They just really elevate your vases. And then this reindeer candle holder, this is Bucky, my, not, my mom named him Bucky. When I say it just looks so good and looks, I feel like that main piece right there just elevates this space. 
it comes in gold but I took my friend advice and spray painted it black and I love it and down below I didn't really decorate the area I didn't really care for that but I just love how this looks and then this is just the half bathroom I didn't record this portion as part of the reveal I showed me decorating but I just wanted to show how it looked with the candle lit I love this candle it smells amazing this is the cedarwood and musk from Target so what you think, Ricky Babies? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Did your girl deliver? Did I do a good job? Or did I do a good job? Let me know. Let me know. If you're not new here, then you know. Did your girl eat? Or did I eat it up? Let me know. Just let me know. I want to know your thoughts. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end out this video, you guys. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. It's time for me to... Cozy up on my couch, kick my feet up, and relax. Before you head out, please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share the video, and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Join the Brookie Baby gang, because the Brookie Babies are lit. We have fun, and if you subscribe, you're going to have some fun too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next one, Brookie Baby. Now, y'all know I'm a little under the weather, but y'all ready? Brookie Babies! Peace. I love you guys.